Greetings, family. How are you doing? I hope you are blessed on your spiritual journey. Welcome once again. It is me, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area. I pray all is well. So today, we are going to talk about empath. People have been writing me, Nana, can you talk a little bit about empath? I'm an empath. I'm going through a lot. And it's like people are taking me for granted. And I don't know what to do. Today, I'm back again. And what I'm saying is, arise, empath. Empath, arise. This is your time. You see, one thing about empaths, people may be taking empaths for granted, but the empaths have a dark side that you may not know about. And when that dark side comes out, oh my, oh my, you will wish that you were not born. You know, empaths are very friendly, very loving, very caring. They give a lot. But then, they, sometimes they, re they receive nothing back. But it's okay. Empaths are, I will call empaths like sponge walking around. <laughs> Spongebob. <laughs> sponge walking around. Because they pick on every person's energy. When I was growing up as a young girl, I had a problem. You know, I like using myself as an example. Maybe you can relate or you can learn something out there. I never really like going out, like to clubs, to disco, to wherever. So whenever friends invited me, it's better before even I step out, I need to take alcohol, I need to drink something so that I will not feel people's energy that much. But that time I didn't know, nobody told me about it. I was still, I was still young, I was growing up, I don't know anything about all that, I'm a Christian. So, but one thing I noticed is like whenever that I go out, when I step in a room, it's like I can read everybody's mind. You know, some people will even come and they'll greet me. They'll be like, hey, in a long time, where have you been? And I've been missing you. And I'm reading their mind and they're like, oh, no, not she again here at this party. You know, so all those things were making me sick. So I developed a character that whenever that I'm going out, it's better that is, I'm drunk before I step out so that I don't even have to read anybody's mind or feel anybody's energy. So... Later, later, later on my journey, I got to understand what it was. So, empaths, as people have been writing me, people are taking them for granted because they are too good, because they care so much. Empaths are people so fun to be with. People, when people have problem, they like to come to you. They want to tell you their problem because you are so good in solving problems, you know? <laughs> The bump is being an empath, being an also, being a chosen one, being a light worker. This life is really not easy. This life is really not easy. But we will surely make, we will surely make it. So, um, talking about empath once, uh, once again. People want to misuse you. People want to misuse your kindness, your goodness, your love. But you need to take care of yourself, you know, because it's like many times you feel so drained because all these energy vampires, all these people around you, they have noticed who you are. They know that anytime they have problem, they come around you. You can help them solve their problem and they will keep on coming. You need to learn to say no sometimes. Otherwise, people will mess with your energy. That is why many times you feel weak as an empath. You feel, you feel weak. You feel so drained. You don't know what to do. In such cases, what I do, I used to go in nature. Nature is my therapy. Go to nature. Go out there to recharge yourself. Go to the rivers. Go to the lake. Or spend time when you have a pet at home. Spend time with animals. That one will also help you. Meditation will also help you. But don't give more than you. 
Don't give more than you can. That's why here on my program, I always say it, that I can never pour out of an empty cup. Whenever that I feel drained or I feel weak, I spend too much time around people. And as a sponge, I feel like they are draining me. I need to step back for a while. I need to go to nature. I need to meditate, practice self-love. Practice self-love. Spend time alone with yourself. Quiet time, quality time. It is needed. That is how you can recharge yourself. Because when you are an empath and you have not identified it, but then there are people out there who have identified who you are, my dear, they are going to, they are going to use you. They are going to drain you to nonsense. So today, as I said, my topic is empath. Arise. Stop giving more than you can. Because you need yourself too. You need to be strong. Empath in relationship. Oh, that is also another story. That one is also another story. But let's talk a little bit about it. An empath in a relationship. The strong empaths when you are in a relationship sometimes it can be hard sometimes when you're not careful it can even break your relationship because empaths are people who see through excuse me through every shit they see through every nonsense they see through every lies before you start talking to an empath they know already where you are heading to and they pick out all the lies that you are putting in there and they know already, you know, and they will still be looking at you like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, really? Oh, that, that happened? Oh, are you sure? Oh, I'm very, very sorry. That is, that is how they are. So to be with an empath, having an empath as, an, as a friend, you need to be very careful because they see through every bullshit so you need to think twice before you start lying because they read people people's energy you know there are people who um who go by people's looks people's tribe um this one is black uh, this one is from asia this one is from there are people who look by the aura by the energy and as the saying goes everywhere that you go your energy will introduce you even before you open your mouth and empaths feel it very well. Sometimes I get sick around some people. I have stopped. Many times I used to uh, um, talk with people um, on social media. I have I've really backed up. Because what? There will be some people who are just writing with me or writing just to test you. You know, they'll be writing some lies and I'll read it and I'll be like, what the hell do this person think that? What do they think that they are doing? I'm reading that person from a distance. I'm feeling that person. Certain things makes me sick. Certain things makes me hungry. So I stopped it for a while. I need to concentrate on myself and be there for those who really deserve me. It is time for the empaths to arrive. Don't see yourself as a victim. You are not a victim. You are a blessing to this planet because you are here on a mission. I can compare some of the, the empath also as the earth angels because we are here to bring changes, to bring difference. That empathy, that love, that care. But people sometimes will think that the empaths are stupid. They don't know what they are doing. I promise you, any empath that has identified, identified his or herself, they surely know what they are doing. So enough of taking the empaths for granted. Empaths, it's time for you to arise. Once again, don't see yourself as a victim. But see yourself as a blessing. You are here on a great mission. Your gifts are needed. This world needs you. Nature needs you. The animals need you. We need to unite.
because empaths have that strong emotion and that strong intuition, sensing it when something is wrong, knowing when someone is fooling them, knowing it when someone is jealous or hating on them secretly. You cannot hide this. So most of the time, empaths want to be alone, like the old souls. And when you are pleasant with all these gifts, <laughs> it took me a lot to be where I am now. There are some times I don't want to see anybody. I just want to be on my own. I just want to be there for Nana. Then there are some times I feel like wearing my rope and going out there to save the whole world to present myself like oh people here i am i'm here to save the whole world but it doesn't it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that because even when i start rushing out like people here i am i want to save the whole world after a while i am drained already and i have to rush back again that is empath so for empath knowing that you are fooling them Okay, but because of the love that they have, they sometimes they will just be quiet. They will just be watching because they want to help. They want they want to support. They want people to be happy. Empaths are people. When they see people crying, they will just start crying, and they don't even know why they are crying because it's so sad because someone is crying. Empath is a person who is who see someone on the street begging for food or begging for money and they feel sad already they feel everything that's why i made that example with the sponge they are like sponge it's like every everything that is going on around them they will just tap in there tap in there tap in there tap in there and that is that is heavy that can be very very heavy so I don't miss a day cleansing myself, especially when I go to work. When I come back, the people that I, I mingle with, I meet at work. You know, going to shopping, you come across people. But we cannot hide. You don't need to hide. Arise. You don't need to hide. You know, there are some people when you leave them, they will just like to be alone. Just hide yourself to the day that they will leave and this planet but that is not what we are here to do you need to get to know yourself know thyself and when you know thyself the journey will be easier for you know what to do and what not to do don't give too much of yourself trying to be a good person that is one mistake some of the empath used to do as I said, you cannot save the whole world. We cannot save the whole world. But the little that we can contribute is a blessing to someone out there. So don't worry yourself too much. Don't try to pour from an empty cup. You deserve love too. You need love too. So always giving, giving, giving and not getting anything back. That is why sometimes all the empaths that have been contacting me, that's why you feel weak. Go out in nature. Spend time with yourself. Meditate. Cleanse yourself. Be cleansing yourself. Because many times, because you are a good listener, you will be hugged. When people are crying, you will cry with them. They like to hug you. You will hug them. And all their bullshit it will be transferred to you. And you will be carrying it around. Learn to cleanse yourself. You can use Palo Santo. You can use sage. You can. There are a lot of a lot of things out there that you can use. You can use um, sea salt. You can use uh, um, uh, uh, Flor uh, Florida water. There are a lot of things. Incense. I like burning incense. Also, there are a lot of things that you can do, so that you're not always filled feel so weak and so drained and so sad and crying and you don't even know for what arise empath you are a blessing to this planet you are a blessing to this world stop seeing yourself as a victim because you are not a victim you are victorious you are beautiful you are a beautiful spirit beautiful soul 
being an empath is a blessing. Live in that blessing and enjoy your journey on planet Earth as a chosen one and as a blessed one. It is not your problem that people are behaving the way that they are behaving. You got nothing to do with it. You can try to everything to find the fault within you, but it's not you, it is them. They don't, they don't understand it. But when you learn, when you get to know yourself and you know who you are, you will understand that you are a blessing and not a curse. Arise, empath. When there are people who are taking you for granted, people who are draining you on your journey, then cut them off. I know my empath. Sometimes it's so hard for them to say no. It's so hard for them to cut people off. Why is it like that? You need to take care of yourself. Empath when you get to know yourself, actually, empath is a very strong spirit. They are very strong, very bold. But people always look at empath have also a negative side. When empath get angry, you don't want to be there. They will take all nonsense so they cannot take any more. And that's those I call the dark empaths. And it's in all of us. We will take it till we cannot take it anymore. And that is where the bomb will blast on you in your face. The people who are causing all these problems. They will be draining you. They will be draining you. Trying to use you. Trying to abuse you. Lying to you. Doing all the things that they are not supposed to be do to bring you down as an empath. And then when you show your dark side, they'll be standing on the other side telling you that you are a bad person. Well, what am I hearing? Didn't you people think about it when you were treating the empath like that? No, you didn't think about it. Because you people were thinking the empath is always going to be sweet and sweet and sweet. Yes, but it's not like that. We have, the empath have a dark side. When the cup is full, but sometimes do you have to wait till the cup is full? No, you don't have to. Learn to say no without feeling bad. When you can help, yes, you can help. When people want to come and talk to you and drain, oh, do you have time? Do you have time for me? I have this issue and I have this problem. No, I don't have time. Yes, I have the time. I will call you later when I have the time. Why is it so hard for empaths sometimes to say no? I, I, I just can't get it. Because sometimes you need to learn to say no just to save your own self, to protect your own energy. You need to set boundaries. As an empath, learn to set boundaries. You are not create, you are not here for stupidity, for stupid people. No. You need to see to it that your cup is always full so that out of that full cup you can give out but when there is nothing in there what do you want to give to others there is nothing for you to give to others so what i will say is learn to cut people off who are draining you who are draining your energy because it will bring you nowhere once they drain your energy when they are done they will go they will not even say thank you in my life, as an empath, when I'm telling the people that I, I have helped in tears, even when I had, even my last money, I will give it to them. Even my clothes, I will give just to see them happy. So like some of them will not even say thank you. They don't care. Some of them will even ask you, is that all that you have? Whilst maybe it was your last money that you gave to them. They don't care. So you need to think. Before any action, you need to reason. So today, my topic was for the empath. Empath, it's time for you to arise. You are not a victim. You are a blessing to this planet. It's me, your queen, Anaya Sankofa, in your area, on Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. Stay blessed.